So on Saturday, I took one of my buddies who was visiting over to the 9-11 World Trade Center Museum and Memorial. And uh, so a couple of, th I've been there a few times already. And I'm looking in the museum windows and I got my hands like this and I'm like, I really want to go in there one day and really check out everything that's, that's in there. And my buddy looked at me and he was like, well, we're here. We might as well just, why don't we go in? And I was like, makes sense, right? <laughs> so we get online, we get in there and I start walking around and you know, a tremendous amount of emotion starts to build. And um, I, I start to think about all the, you know, the, 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 where I was the day of and all these different things. But I'm walking around and I'm reading all the different things on the walls. And they have like audio playing throughout the hallways of people, like voicemails to people that they've loved and, and, and all the different things. Like, uh, you know, I think the plane's being hijacked, they love you, blah, blah, blah. All these things are playing, and I, it was just tremendously emotional for me, because I know quite a bit of people who lost a loved one in those, it, it, at, you know, during that day. And uh, here's the one piece that really stuck with me. So, I'm walking down the hall, and I see this one big picture, and it's a, it's a hallway, and you see all the people walking down, walking down the stairwell. And you see a firefighter walking up the stairwell. And he's got this uh, hose over his back. And it looks like one of the one of the one of the patrons snapped the photo of him as he was walking up the steps. And he's got his hel fire helmet on, and his eyes are wide, like this. And he's carrying the hose and he's and he's coming up the steps and in the little reading it said you know all these people were going down and out to their safety and here's this guy this fireman who got on his fire truck that day at the firehouse and headed towards the world trade center knowing that one day he might not make it out and he's walking up the steps with the, with this face, with this look on his face. And I'll never forget it. I swear to God, I'll never forget it. And he, he went that day and it costed him his life to save all those people that were in that hallway. And he didn't think twice about it. And Man, when I tell you, that's that was some powerful stuff in that museum. And it makes me think, like, <clears throat> when I was looking through the window, like, oh, I should go in there. What was stopping me from going in there? I was there. I was there. You know, and, and what was stopping this guy, this fireman, from not going up those steps to save those people. Nothing. And he did what he had to do. And it costed him his life. And that, to me, when I tell you, is one of the most powerful takeaways I got in that, in that museum. Was knowing that that man was a hero. Was a hero. And... I just want you guys to think about something. You know, how many of you aren't taking action on things in your life that will truly get you to where you want to be? It's all about taking that first step and committing to it. Because I think a lot of us think that we're guaranteed tomorrow. And we're not. That fireman, he wasn't guaranteed the next day, but he didn't care. He went, he went. Anyway. And so 
I just want you guys to make sure you guys are thinking about that every day you wake up. And I want you to say to yourself, what can I do today to get me where I want to be? And focus and commit yourself to doing that. And don't be like me, second guessing. Oh, I really want to go in there one day. I'm freaking there, just go. And I went. And I was able to experience that museum on such an emotional level that I'll never forget it. And I will take more people back there to see that day. And, and I will walk straight to that picture and show them that picture of that fireman because that fireman touched me in such an emotional way. So the moral of the story is, get out there and take action on what it is you want. Because I say it all the time, we're only here for two minutes. So make every minute 